Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're watching us from, different time zones. Um, this is Mr. Panuka, and um, we are in the sweet pepper uh, in a crop. This is uh, in the shed net. And um, if you do follow uh, Panuka Farm, you know, Facebook page, uh, you do remember that at some point we actually uh, gave you some... Um, you know guidance uh on uh the efficacy of uh you know producing pepper uh in a shed net and uh, this is where we are and um i think at the time we provided that guidance uh this pepper was still very young uh but as you can see now it's actually grown uh quite well look at that uh and so you can actually see that uh, even in a shed net, you actually get very good uh, pepper. But of course, if you're comparing the productivity with that, uh, which is um, in uh, a full-blown greenhouse, I think there's there's a huge difference. But overall, excellent uh, results. Um, and uh, you can actually see around here that it's doing very fine. Uh, just there, you know, and uh, look at that. So it's pretty much doing uh, very well, and uh, I think we're generally happy with how it's, um, it's it's coming up. So I think the trick is just to make sure that uh, you take care of it just in similar fashion that you'd actually do uh, with that, which is in the greenhouse. And so you see that we've already done the trellising here. Um, very, very important. Um, and as you can see here, um, pruning is ongoing and then the winding you know just make sure that it goes up is also progressing very well so we have quite a some good paper looking good so far and this is in the shed net you can actually see the uh, material that uh, uh, we showed you last time uh, very very tough uh, net and doing very well so far um, so again, cheap is expensive in the long run. So try and avoid uh, getting these very cheap nets. This one has been with us for two years now. And uh, so far, it's still going uh, strong. So if you get this kind of net, I think it will do quite some good job. Um, so try and take that into account and avoid just getting uh, very cheap nets. Okay. So let's just take uh, a walk here so that you appreciate. Uh, look at some of the fruits that have already emerged. Um, look at that. So they're coming up quite very well. Um, and uh, more flowers are coming up. We've actually been harvesting quite a number of them as green uh, in here. But we're almost tempted to let them, you know, go and turn into red, um, you know, pepper as we wait for the other greenhouses to uh, mature. But all that is actually being guided by the demand. When we've got more demand on green, uh, we come in here and uh, you know harvest. Um, otherwise, it's pretty much ready. If we're harvesting this all as green, um, then we'll be home and dry, uh, which is what we've partially been doing. Okay. So, so these are some of the fruits that we have that are looking good so far and um, generally i think it's a good crop so like we have previously guided if you are short on finances for you to get a full brown uh, greenhouse i think you need to consider having um you know a shed net you can actually see here, you can even get some very good and big uh, fruits like this one. Um, so this would be like a quarter of a price to put together compared to a greenhouse. And you can have uh, a crop just as beautiful uh, as this. And apparently we actually have more population uh, from here than a, a greenhouse. Because most of the greenhouses, the they're just about nine meters uh, in terms of uh, uh, width. So, like here, we've got one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. That translates to about 14 lines. So they've got four lines extra compared to uh, a greenhouse where we've got about 10 lines because when that would look five, then by two. So you actually have a greater number of, uh, or greater population in here compared to uh, the population in the greenhouse. So yeah, so take you know note of those um, you know tidbits. Um, and one other tidbit that you need to know, uh, especially on the red and yellow pepper, is um, the fact that uh, there's more demand for red pepper compared to yellow. Uh, so in the Zamb Zambian setup, um, I think even when you're planting, you need to do some kind of a two to one ratio in terms of uh, you know planting. Uh, it's very difficult for your information to sell yellow pepper on its own. Um, it's pretty much easy to sell red on its own. Uh, so if you're just planting one type, uh, you're actually better off having more red than, than yellow. Uh, usually yellow has to go hand in hand with, um, you know, uh, red pepper. But of course, again, in terms of overall demand, green pepper has much more demand compared to the red and yellow. Um, but I think it also has to do with the issue of price. Uh, so people consume much more green pepper uh, compared to... Um, you know red and yellow so in terms of ranking demand wise uh it's green number one then number two uh it's red pepper and then the third one is is, is yellow pepper uh these other colors like orange they're not very um common in, in zambia though i do see uh, a few stores do sell them um so that's how you know this goes but again from a pricing perspective uh you get twice the price from the red and yellow uh, given the premium, uh, you know, that comes with the extra, you know, period it stays uh, in the field uh, compared to, to green. So that's how you play around, you know, with your numbers in terms of uh, just uh, productivity of, uh, you know, reds and, uh, and, and yellow pepper. Um, so you need to know some of these dynamics uh, before you plunge into uh, sweet pepper production. Uh, but generally, it's a very, very good crop tough to grow you've got to invest a lot of time and, uh, and energy um, especially knowledge it's very very critical the nutritional aspect you can actually see like for hours uh, they're looking uh, all good now because we have actually invested quite a bit of time into uh, knowledge okay uh, so you see that we just did actually a diagnosis just moments ago and um, all looks good uh, still looking green productivity on point so that's very very critical but not the easiest of things to actually attend uh, if you're doing sweet pepper production so learn to visit other people's farms invest a lot of knowledge uh, YouTube is a good repository of knowledge uh, read uh, and consult okay so that's your shed net this is what it can do um, you don't necessarily need to go for a full-blown greenhouse. The shed net can still, you know, uh, deliver the goods. Um, but again, invest in knowledge. All right, folks. So uh, this is Mr. Panuka. And I hope, you know, these tidbits will help you in your sweet pepper production. And as usual, if you've got any questions, do drop them. Uh, Mr. Panuka is always at hand to respond to those uh, uh, questions. All right, folks, so have a lovely one, and uh, for us, it's a good afternoon. Bye-bye.